Welcome back everyone, I'm your host Mr. Gazillion, and this is episode 3 of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. So in the last episode, we were rescued by this hooded man here, that we're pretty sure is, um, actually he doesn't have a spear. I was pretty sure it's Kane. I have a feeling it's Kane. Um, he basically came into the battle with a jump attack. So, um, yeah, it kind of makes sense, but who knows. But he does have blonde hair, which we know Kane has blonde hair from the ending of Final Fantasy um, IV. So at one point you kind of see him standing on Mount Ordeal, like staring into the distance. As far as Theodore goes, oh, we did keep the Lustrous Shield, so we just couldn't equip it in the... Um, in the other menu, and we found out that I guess it just means that he can't equip the royal sword. So let's equip this much better equipment because we can. And uh, you know what? I'm going to equip the gauntlet because it seems to be a good mix between the two. And if it's good enough for Cecil, it's good enough for. Seedor, and actually, let's see if we can give some of that gear to the Hooded Man. So, Fal the Falcon, uh, Longsword, not as good. That's not as good, that's not as good. Not as good, and not as good. Alright, so Hooded Man is better than we are. So, let's save. Oh yeah, and there was a um, new moon. Which is, I forget what it's called. Was it the Waxing Moon? No, New Moon. That's the one. And uh, magic is down. And uh, I think it might mean that Shurikane might mean um, uh, like uh, weapons or, sorry, items. From looking at the map, it kind of looks look like we're near Mizdia. So let's hear, let's head that way. Um, I only know this from having played Final Fantasy IV. I didn't really get any instructions, and I don't recall seeing a journal in the menu. So, alright, so it was kind of fun to actually, uh, strip everyone of all their armor. I kind of wish I would have taken that Rosa stuff off, because if we would have, um, if we can recruit a mage in Mizdia, that means that we could have given that mage equipment. But we don't know what's going to happen. Like I said, this is a semi-blind LP. I don't really remember any of the storylines, so... That's a good level up. And he got Cura, which is good. He's practically a paladin already. So, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, it's maybe it's changed a little bit. Oh, that's a nice little view of, uh, this town. Kane, or sorry, I should say the Hooded Man. The Hall of Prayer is at the north end of town. Someone there can break the seal for us. The seal? Yes, the, the seal blocking the way to Devil's Road. Yes, because, you know, we use the Devil's Road to get the Baron in Final Fantasy IV, where we end up meeting Yang in the bar, who was, uh... Uh, brainwashed. Yes, yes, we know where to go. We know where the Elder is. Alright, so because it's stronger than me, I have to go check the weapon store. Welcome to Mizidia, sacred ground of all mages. Palom is the greatest black mage in all of Mizidia. But if you ask me, he's not exactly the most pleasant person to, to be around. I always mix them up, okay? So there's Palom and Parum, and I always forget which one is which. Because, well, you know, there's not a huge difference between the two. And, uh, nothing's really better than what we already had, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to buy this gear for uh, Palom or, or Parum if we recruit either one of them. Rumor has it that a Dragoon is holed up in the Mount Ordeals over the east. Hmm. Is that so? Longsword, flame rods. Yeah, okay, we're definitely gonna recruit a mage here. I'm gonna assume either Palom or Parum. Because we are, you know, in their hometown. Maybe we can get a little bit of insight as to what happened when they uh, put themselves to. Uh, when they stoned themselves. 
We heard this tremendous sound echo from the east. Has something gone awry over there? Uh, yeah, you know, like, uh, the, you know, our fleet of Red Wings, uh, just kind of crashed because somebody ordered idiot Biggs. Are you headed for Baron? If I, uh, I'd hold off on that if I were you. Something, uh, something about what's going on. It all seems too ominous to me. Yeah, fucking Biggs. He's the one responsible for us crashing. You notice the sky yet? There's two moons out there. No warning whatsoever. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, yes, I know. Sorry, boy, but we don't need to serve milk or kitty drinks here. Scram! How do you know what I wanted? This village is home to a pair of twin maidens, both highly gifted in their respective arts. I'm sure one of them will lead an entire village when the time comes. Uh, no. Dancer wanted 50 gil per hour. Hours negotiable. Please don't start a dance. I shall we say graduated from my life as a dancer? I know I certainly won't miss the toll I took on my body. Okay, well that's good. Glad you're moved on to, uh, I don't know. No thanks, no need to heal. We are in good spirits and have good health. Yeah, the dancers are all nice, but in the first one they transform you into a pig if I'm not mistaken. And if you don't have the Azuna spell or the pig spell to transform you back, uh, you just have to go through the dance again to put you back to normal, which is, you know, annoying. You'll find Parum in the uh, meditation in the Hall of Prayer north of here. She's a white mage who in her younger years accompanied King Cecil on his quest to save the world. Alright, so Parum, the R is for... Uh, L for... Fuck, I don't, I'm not sure guys, I don't know of a good trick to remember which one's which. Parum is the woman. There's no R in woman, there's no R in female. Palum, guy, man, nothing with... Nothing that uh, works with uh, with an L either. That's not very good. All right, so this is where the Devil's Road is. I'm guessing it's locked. The Devil's Road is a path that transcends dimension that puts you face to face with evil itself. Those who dare to set foot on it must be prepared to pay the ultimate price for their courage. What are you talking about? It's just a freaking portal, man. That's how we used it last time. Yeah, it's sealed tight. No. We knew that already. Is there the old woman around here? There used to be. An old woman who would laugh at us and our misery for being transformed into a pig. Alright, let's check it out. Do -do 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 -do. I heard a Palum was a Spatia Troia, this the scamp. That sounds packed with beauties. Ah, Palum the man. We'll certainly remember. Palum with an L. Uh I couldn't be more envious of him if I tried. Mm-hmm. Maybe Edward's there, too. Hmm, I, c I can sense great white magic potential in your body. Yes, an immense power greater than all others. Uh, it must be the midichlorians. Yup, that's a good sign that you're gonna be a good white mage. It's not magic, it's biology. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see, any more- Ooh, hello! Oh, Elder's not looking great. Oh, it's you, Theodore! You've grown into such a fine man. Me? Oh, don't worry. I'm not that bad quite yet. I am more concerned about you. Please be careful. The moon is too. Once more, you must hurry to Cecil's side. The elder's health has been taking a turn for the worse. If you would be, it would be greatly appreciated if you could keep it quiet. Okay, let's just kind of. Oh, can I walk? That's. Oh no, let's just run. Hey, Param. What's up? Um, pardon me, is there anyone here who can unseal the uh, Devil's Road for us? Someone who knows the Devil's Road? Who are you? I am Theodore, the Red Wings of Baron. So you are- heavens, you've certainly grown, haven't you? Oh god. I did make a Star Wars joke earlier, but is the older Param flirting with the younger Theodore? She can feel the midichlorian inside of him. You know me? Of course, you don't remember me? We haven't met since you were a very, very young child. So you are... I'm Parum, White Mage of Mysdia. It might be Mysidia, maybe Mysidia, I've always called it Mysdia. You're Parum? My parents have told me so much about you. So why do you want to use the Devil's Road? You said you were with the Red Wings? Did you not come here by airship? Okay, are you the only ones oblivious and everyone outside the freaking village seems to know something horrible is happening? I was... It was brought down by a horde of monsters. Are you freaking kidding me? It was Biggs! 
He ordered the ship to go beyond capacity. Smoke is coming from Baron's direction. Oh my god, you can see it from... Uh, I knew it. That would explain the unease I've been feeling lately. Hey, you guys, could you come down here, please? Oh no, new characters, or...? Did you call for me? Who are these people? We want to take Devil's Road back to Baron. The white mage here knows how to open the seal. Thank you very much. But I must warn you that the pathway wasn't named the Devil's Road for humor's sake. It'll be tough pack to traverse by yourselves, I fear. So... I'd go with you, but I can't leave the Hall of Prayer empty right now. These two mages will accompany you instead. Thank you. Horm. Please take care and send Cecil and Rosa my regards. I will. If they're alive. So red shirt white mage and red shirt black mage have joined the party. Is it even worth equipping them with the best? Hmm, <clears throat> and you would be... Mysterious stranger. No one you know, I should think. Let's go, Theodore. You're so mysterious, hooded man. I wish I could be just like you, instead of having to live up my dad's potential. Ooh, the crystal's gotten much bigger. It brims with light. Say what you will about this game, but they, you know, they've recreated the atmosphere of Final Fantasy IV pretty freaking well, and this crystal theme is the only Final Fantasy theme. Uh, I kind of just want to stick around and listen to it, but I feel you guys get annoyed. Ooh, and this is another good theme. Let's see, it's who's praying? You wouldn't have left it alone. The second moon's return is it portends ominous things. This moon seems rather different from the one before. What could it all mean? Who knows? Let's take a peek. Or jump to our doom. Someone, if we jump, Sid will save us with a mysterious airship that will come out of nowhere. To be honest, I kind of want to go to Mount Ordeals. Because I feel uh, there must be something going on over there, especially if uh, Mysterious Dragoon was uh, spotted over there. Can only mean Kane. That would explain why we bumped into him as the Hooded Man. But who knows, who knows. You know, we don't add no for a fact. And he's trying to be mysterious for a reason. All right, so flame rod. Ooh, better. Let's let's do it. And the white mage used to restore a small amount of MP. A staff. Uh, let's get the healing one. I'm pretty sure it heals if you fight. Why is the white mage's avatar turned around? Whatever. Uh, we'll equip it once we buy the armor. Actually, not to waste too much time in the menu. And over here, we'll buy... Alright, so... Okay, Feathered Cap is better. So we'll buy a couple. And Gear Gear, obviously. So we'll buy a couple of those as well. Ooh, an Iron Armlet is good. We'll buy two, because I don't really want to give them the Ruby one, because I only have one. And if we can buy these, then that's good. So, we're gonna go and equip the white mage, we're gonna do optimize, okay that's good, and then we're gonna do optimize on this guy too, perfect. And uh, let's uh, sell stuff actually, just because we don't need iron gloves. Uh, let's keep one just in case we bump into someone. How many do we have? We have two, so let's sell one, bronze shield. We have two, so let's just sell one. King Sword, ooh, we can't sell it. Oh ho ho. So only one, we'll keep it. Bronze Helm, only one. Bronze Armor, we will not need, because we have the Iron one. No need for Staff, no need for a Leather Cap, whoops. And same for this one. No need for Rob, and we'll keep the Ruby Ring. Perfect. So we're pretty much ready to go. Um. I mean, everyone's doing pretty decent in terms of MP and stuff. How many ethers do I have? Three? Mm, let's talk up a little bit. 
Sorry, I don't mean to burp in the microphone. I'm drinking a diet uh, soda and it's definitely building up. Whew, sorry. TMI. Alright, so potions. Well, let's just round it up to 10. We got enough Phoenix Downs, I think, and I think we might get raised with one of those mages. Golden Needle, no thanks, made in case. I'll uh, just one, just uh, two, just in case. Echo Horp 2 is fine, Eye Drops, that's fine, Antidote, let's pick up maybe 5, 10 plenty, Gnomish Bread, the cast site, no thanks. Huh, okay, no either is here, alright, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So I really feel like going to Mount Ordeals would be a good idea. Um, I don't know if there's anything there, I'm just gonna save, sorry guys, I'm gonna step outside. Seems like I can't save inside. I really want to go to Mount Ordeals, which is to the uh, east of here. But I feel it would, like, it's either that I'm gonna find stuff there, or I'm gonna find absolutely nothing, and I'm gonna waste a good, like, half hour of this episode with all the random battles. So, ah, decisions, decisions. Because last time when we stepped on the Devil's Road, we couldn't go. So I'm just not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I have a feeling we'll end up going back anyway. It's not like the game's that difficult. Open Sesame! I will now release the seal. Stand back, please. Alright, little cast. What what spell was that? Did you get did you get a hold of that? Come in handy in the future. The Devil's Road Seal has been released. Huzzah! Alright, let's us continue inside. Alright, I'm ready. I was born ready. Looks like a safe spot, but doesn't matter. Do, do, do. Will it have the same music? Oh, no. Uh, it's one of those teleport dungeons. I guess at least we get a mini map. Where are we going? Uh, I really want that treasure. How do I walk through? And we're ambushed. Great. Great. Awesome. Just awesome. Alright, Hooded Man, you take care of them. Let's dispatch all these guys. Just fight. We're not gonna waste some MP on this stupid skeleton. Oh yeah, so I don't know if the healing staff... Ugh. I feel like that's a waste. I shouldn't have done that, actually. But if you would have attacked the... What is it called? Lilith? I, he would only have done like, oh no, what does that do? It makes me sick somehow. Berserk? What is it? Hold. Ooh. Um, yeah, he doesn't seem to be moving. Uh. Well, Theodore's stunned, but why is the White Mage also stunned but not... She doesn't seem to be held down. Okay, so maybe magic is worth it for Lilith, but not the skeletons. I forget what they're ah, oh, there you go. I forget what they're good against. A bomb fragment, but they are weak against. Uh, I mean, they might be gold blooded, so maybe fire or ice would do it. I think I'll try ice first. Yes, of course. All right. So we're probably gonna end up doing a bunch of backtracking. Uh, can I go up there? No need for anything really crazy. They're probably weak against fire. Let's do it against all of them. Theodore, did you seriously just miss that? How frustrating. Alright guys, I'm actually going to... Um... I'm going to change the um, battle system from active to wait, and it's not because I don't like active, I usually play with active, but while giving commentary and trying to explain things during, oops, I did not want to do that, during a battle, it makes it so that I, I end up taking more time, and I end up taking a few more hits. So while I appreciate the challenge of uh, making the game slightly more difficult, I don't really feel like dying like I did against uh, in the um, 
in the uh, chapter with Cecil and Rosa. In that little segment, I died to a battle that was supposed to be easy. So let's just go to settings. And I'm gonna leave... Oh, it's already on wait. Am I crazy? I must have turned it on on wait. And battle speed can be as fast as we want. Alright, never mind. I guess I must have done it after dying the first time around. Um, yeah, so it's on wait because I tend to talk a lot. And I will. Ra I do ramble a little bit. Okay. We want some treasures. Let me through. Come on, let me through. Are you serious? Alright, so it wasn't supposed to be through here. Alright. So, can I walk through here? No. Here? Alright, so let's take this guy out. Let's take on this guy. Let's cast... I'm gonna say Fire... Uh, you know, whatever. Even if I end up using one... One either. I think with Heathers and Elixirs and all that stuff, I can't... I always hoard them till the last fight, like the final battle against a big bad boss. But you're so overpowered after you've like accumulated all the armor and all that stuff that you don't even end up using them. So you're hoarding a bunch of stuff that you never use. Alright, who did man gain the level? See what order gain the level? Ooh, strength and speed and spirit. I like this. So yeah, so I'm just gonna... It doesn't really matter if I end up... Uh, Alright, please tell me I can walk through this wall. Uh, oh, holy smokes. Uh, ah, that, sh that was so stupid. Theodore, goddammit. Of course he's dead. I sent my two best guys against him. Okay, does she have a some sort of... No, slow hold. Like, I know that, like, they have... Usually a curing will... W I don't want to re-equip anything, but I want to use it. Use to restore a small... Oh, maybe I can use it from here? How do you use it? I know you can. Whatever. Unless I attack myself. Let's try that. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, so I, I, I don't really have a problem with wasting one or two eithers. Ah, uh... oh, come on. I should have checked if the right wall I could have hugged. Dang it. Come on. There you go. We get a phoenix down. Now that we really need another one. Yeah, Devil's Road, alright. Uh, that guy... Dude, and a bit of fire on everyone. Attack yourself. And she missed. How do you miss when you... How useless can you be? Seriously, White Mage? How do you miss hitting yourself? That's like a critical failure right there. Oh man, I didn't know Param was actually sending you guys on some sort of training mission. How pathetic. Alright. Well, you're a little weak, so let's do a cure on everyone. There you go. Wouldn't want to be caught in some sort of secret battle. Alright, Sages. Ooh, that looks like a good set of armor. Oh, wow. Um, I'm gonna keep it? I don't really trust um, that I'm gonna keep either of these characters with a name like White Mage and, uh, and White. Uh, like it. What the heck just happened? But with a name like White Mage and Black Mage, there's no way these people are sticking around. Can you, like, 
not miss yourself? Oh my god, two in a row, how useless can you be? Alright, fire two. The animation doesn't really look like the original animation. From what I remember of uh, fire two, it kind of forms like a loop. Like it forms an arc around before it hits. Fire three looked really badass, actually. Uh oh. So these guys are weak to what? I think it might be lightning. Let's try it. I, it's been a while. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Yep, okay. So the color they are is usually what they're weak against. But I think any magic would have kind of worked. They're just strong against physical attacks. Silver apple. What does that do again? I'm just curious. These are all items that are pretty much like part of increased max HP by 50. Holy smokes. I kind of want to give that to uh, Seudor because I have a feeling he's going to stick around forever. Maybe some of you are like, no, you're supposed to keep those to give to character X for this scenario. Well, I'm not much of a min-maxer, to be honest. Never have been. I mean, I like accumulating the best equipment in the game, but... Oh, please tell me I can go back and go get those all those treasures. Dang it. What does it all mean? Let's try Blizzard, I forget. No, not on both, just on Lilith. Of course. Useless. Okay, so she's not weak against that. I don't want to waste Hooded Man's attack. Uh, that was a waste, actually. And now he's silenced. Okay, okay, so I think Slab just, like, adds a random uh, status effect on its target. Alright, way to go, White Mage. You land a hit. Alright. There we go. Hooded Man, level up. Good. So I was, didn't really see what he gained in terms of experience. But that's unfortunate. Are you freaking kidding me? Yo, don't bring me to the exit right away. Please. Let me go get all those treasures. There's like three of them. Oh, what? Silent sticks around? That persists? I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Ah, he doesn't even have Azuna. Alright, man. Seodor. Ah, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. God dang it. Alright, how do you stop someone from being... Uh... I guess I don't really have something that kept... makes them talk, do I? Oh, well, let's just use this, because why the heck not? Well, that looks like Fire 1, if anything. And clearly, the ghosts aren't weak against it. Alright, Hooded Man, do all the work, I guess. Oh, whoops. Uh, so I didn't actually mean to hit that. The thing is, for some reason in this game, let's see if it's a setting. If I battle mode active cursor memory, sure, remember Windows, return to title. Um, help? Is there help? Controls? Because the thing is, if I press R, one of the shoulder buttons, it, like, it triggers a run, no matter what. And not only does it trigger the run, but if you let go, it doesn't do anything. So you can't actually, um... Uh, what's that do? Is that the first one? So magic, white magic, and black magic is down. White, sorry, white magic up, black magic down. Oh, thank goodness. I hate leaving a dungeon without getting everything. Alright. Oh, Echo Herb. I think that's what you needed for silence. And another battle. An easy one. We'll dispatch him. No worries. Uh, nope. Uh, damn this remember. 
I don't want it to remember in between battles, that's a problem. I don't mind inside the battle itself. Alright, alright, let's go. Of course, it's their weakness. And step here. So before we step on the stairs, I'm gonna make sure to fully heal everyone because uh what? Yeah, I think I'm I think I've got all the trash. I should have tried actually hugged the wall on the other side to make sure, but Yeah, so, no, no, all right, do we see the stairs? Okay, so right before I step on that, we're gonna go for a full heal. Uh, fire on everyone. And you know what? I'll just do a cure to everyone. Looks like uh, the hooded man has a hard cad candy attached to his hood. The type you'd find in your grandmother's bowl in the living room that no one has touched ever since you've known her, since you were a child. And then when you lift the one candy, the whole bowl follows. Yeah, kind of looks like that. Alright, so we're fully healed. I uh, don't have a lot of MP left, but we're not guaranteed a boss battle, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use one just yet. I'd rather use a tenth. Often there's also a save spot. Like... This? What is this? Alright, these... Oh, these crystals protect you, I remember. Not from the Devil's Road, but wasn't there like these types of crystals in the cave near... Uh, in the Mist Cave or something? No, not the Mist Cave. Uh, near the Waterfall. Where Tell is like, oh, these crystals will protect us. Oh, what the heck? Why didn't the Black Mage get fully... Uh, get all his... Uh, MP back. That's a little annoying. So I don't think there's any monsters here. Usually there's a sign. Nope, nothing here. Usually there's like a little indicator, or in some games. Or maybe, in, actually, maybe I'm just crazy. I remember seeing a game where there's like a little green creature, and when that creature jumps up and down, that means there's random monsters. Oh man, not one of these again. Okay, I guess we're gonna just step on them or something. I really don't feel like it. And that these are the types of dungeons that are actually really freaking annoying when you have random battles. Let's see if you can heal them. Because the thing is, you're going around trying to figure out what tiles you have to step on. And next thing you know, you're triggering all sorts of battles. Thankfully the thankfully the battles aren't too too difficult, but they still take a while. Okay, I'm not allowed to pass here. Is there a treasure around here? No. I don't wanna Ah, that's not where I wanted to go. Curses! Oh, and then they ran the battle. That's okay, we know what these guys are weak to. A little bit of lit. Right guys, lit. That's what it was called in the first one. Not thunder. Not bolt. Lit. Uh, you hit this guy. And of course, miss. Alright. So, keep going this way. I guess we'll go down. Nothing here. Where is it sending me? Down here. Well, so far I haven't seen any treasures, so... And we're kind of being forced to take specific paths, so... I'm not too annoyed by it. Only slightly. Uh, this guy... How is he faster than the Hooded Man? What a waste. Uh, black magic. We're gonna do fire uh, on everyone, and while these guys are immune to it, 
Uh, they didn't actually take that much damage from anyone, so... How the... Ugh. So frustrating. Random misses, man. I should be able to hit my friggin' allies. Like, I'm just knocking him behind the head. It's not like he's planning on dodging an attack. Like, what's the point of bu buying a healing rod? If you're, all you're gonna do is miss all the time. Ah, oh, frig. Thank god, because he has a fire rod. So you just would have healed them a little bit. And see what organs are level, so that's handy. Um... Whatever. Walk this way. No, we'll go down. It's gonna send me down or up? Uh, left. No, down. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to step on all of them, but whatever. I'll take it. Remember that it's a new moon or a full moon now, so physical attacks are down, which explains why Suidor wasn't killing that uh, wasn't killing that skeleton in one shot. Holy smokes! Yeah, Black Magic is up, as you can see by the 2,000 uh, damage. Okay, let's keep going. Well, we're getting close to that exit, wherever we're supposed to go. Uh, probably send me the wrong way, I'll just go up, please send me up. And we're finally at the portal. This was a pretty useless maze, it just made it look like it was a maze. When in reality, it was nothing of the sort. Ah, uh, Baron. There's a prince in the castle who's just about to come of age. Wait, are you? Yes, yes, it's me. King Cizodot has ushered an era of peace and tranquility to our nation. A shame that his dear friend Sir Cain is not here to enjoy it. Okay, so I guess Cain is gone, uh, is just kind of left or something? Who knows? Let's just check the weapon, because, you know, that's always fun. A weapon shot. Welcome! Long sword, iron sword. Ooh, let's buy one of those. Thunder rod? Why the heck not? That's fun. Let's equip it after we check the armor store. Welcome! Thank you, thank you. Iron shield? No, thank you. Uh, wizard's hat? Sure, let's have a couple. Gear, gear, no thank. Oh, okay, those are the ones we found in the shop, so... And let's buy a couple of those as well. Why not? We have plenty of money. Ever since we stripped every one of their goods. So, optimize, optimize, optimize. There we go. And those treasures seem like they'd be accessible, so let's see if we can just walk through the walls. Because I remember being able to go behind... Um, behind there somehow in the previous games. Maybe there's a secret door behind the door, behind the uh, shop? Or not. Alright. Hello. A potion, thank you. I knew King Cecil had it in him, dispatching that monster whore without breaking a sweat. Uh-oh. Was King Cecil replaced by another king? Like a fake Cecil? The Kingdom of Baron is ruled by King Cecil, the man who saved this entire land in the wars of the past. That's good. On a high potion. Welcome in, 100 per gil per night. Will you be staying with us? Yes. A well-earned rest. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I always appreciate every view. If you like the video, leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next episode when we'll go see what's going on in the castle. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate every single view. If you enjoyed what you watched, feel free to take a look at the next video or peek at a random video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.